Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. I've been out for a while because I've been sick, and it's been this nagging cold that just targets my voice, so I've had this, like, gravelly, sore voice for weeks now. Well, like, two weeks, I guess. But anyway, uh, even though I'm not fully healed, you can still probably hear it in my voice, I do want to play this game because I miss it, and this will be my last chance for the next five days to do a video. We have a little bit to do with the cohort. We found some modest upgrades... So, our melee character will now replace this 2 damage buzzsaw with this 3 damage club thing. I don't know. Uh, we also have the final version of the shield. So, we'll take the medium shield and put on the top shield. Then, our other character, who has this 1 damage poke stick, can adopt the buzzsaw. And that's that. As far as missions go, there are actually quite a few missions I have my eye on. So we got the Charnel Pit, where we're getting the level 2 version of the robot, which is great. It just gives the... When, I don't think I ever talked about this, but when your troops level up, they get a little bit better. Like, the Servitors go from 5 health to 6, and they gain that ability. That gives them plus 1 armor of each type and the taunt. It also has the top tier version of the Heal Stick. There is the Constellation of Madness which gives the second version of the Cognition Point stick, which is quite useful. And I also didn't mention... The, oh, hang on a second. Uh, there was something... Okay, that, never mind. I'm hallucinating things. I thought there was something somewhere that I wanted, but there's not. And then I'm also looking at this one down here, which has the top version of the scanners. Now, this mission is hard with the robot. Although it gives the best rewards, hard means there are now three fights. So what I'd like to do is get my Blackstone up enough to the point where I can actually level up a third tech priest and then go at this mission with three tech priests instead of two. So we're going to do this quote-unquote easy mission. It's I don't remember these seal missions exactly, but it seems like the general pattern is that they have... This is what I'm doing? Okay, cool. Is that they have just one fight, but some tough enemies in it. So they're not easy like the first missions in the game were. They're a pretty appropriate challenge for my squad at this point. There's just uh, only one fight to deal with. So we've got just to make sure one diamond. Yep, okay. There's no reason to go out of the way for this fight. So we'll just skip that and we'll go straight to the diamond. Okay, easy one here. Let's get some blackstone. I do have two canticles for gaining CPs and a skill that fills up my gauge, so I'm not worried about having CPs. Ooh, this is a rough one. Well, I think this is the thing, right? Because we get some CPs and initiative doesn't matter too much because we often delay to go after the enemies anyways. Glyph is probably better than an event because sometimes the events are all bad and the glyphs there's usually something good, but just to, in the interest of time, not having to look up the glyph guide. All right, starting off with six CPs. I'll be a little bit humble and save, though I'm hoping at this point it should be fine. I don't know exactly how much Blackstone I need in order to level up the next Tech Priest. I should probably look that up or just experiment with it and figure it out. And I was, I'm being a little spendthrift. I did pay some Blackstone to take the big robot with us into battle because they've been fun. Maybe, you know, I could have done without it, but it's just fun to have it. Okay, so again, it's a go here. Don't know if it's genuine or not. We have this canoptic spider. I don't actually know what they do, but they look scary as hell. There's a turret here. That is possibly something I can collaterally damage with my flamethrower. And we have a heavy destroyer. I don't know how they're different from regular destroyers, but it certainly sounds bad. It looks like this thing is going to go twice before either of my characters so the normal destroyers go at the beginning and at the end but this one actually goes at the beginning and 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 before my tech priests so that's fun okay well let's um put you there and let's put you kind of behind a pillar so my four energy armor characters the one who gets shot and i'm actually going to be a little bit spendthrift let's actually get this thing out on the field this could definitely be helpful it's, a, it's the ranged attacker with an AoE, and I don't mind just dropping that down. Charging weapon, I see. Okay, this gives everything energy armor. That's fine, as long as it doesn't sometimes give physical armor, because my main way of killing things is with my flamethrower. Did it just, like, launch some of these spiders out of its womb belly thing? 
Oh, God. Okay. So I'm going to take some damage there, even through my four armor. Can't wait to see what this heavy destroyer does. Here we go. Oh, my God. That looks scary. Oh, it only... Well, it was a six damage attack, which is, you know, a significant amount of damage, but uh, it's, it's not, like, terrifying. Okay. So I need to look at what the situation is. These walls make it hard to predict where I can flamethrower and where I can't. Like, can I flamethrower in here? Certainly, the temptation is to try to shoot in here and get the spider turret, the canoptech, and the destroyer. There's only one fight in this mission, so I am willing to just go all out. So I'm just kind of poking around to see when the spider and the canoptech are are both targetable. Looks like from this square, I can... Well, I don't get the turret, unfortunately. I can't get this thing, this thing, and the turret, it seems like, to light up all on the same square. I don't know how important the turrets are, though. They do have 18 health and no armor, which is not the end of the world. Okay, so we'll prioritize not the turret. So we're going to go right here. And I think I do want to delay so that my other character can also put out a canticle. Okay, so you... What do you do? What do you do? I mean, I could just walk up to this immortal, whack it with a... Sh put up a shield, call it a day. Is there anything else I'd want to do? Okay, so let's go here. Since I'm going to have to spend a cognition point to get up to that immortal, I might as well pick one up along the way. Let's, um... Take a shot at something. I suspect this destroyer is going to not fall to a flamethrower attack, even a beefed up one. So I'm actually just going to shoot at, um... The immortal. And I might as well get my damage up on that. Because I'm going to have to do that anyway for this other tech priest's big flamethrower attack. So we'll reveal the, the immortal stats. Okay, lots of physical armor is not great, actually, because it's very difficult for this axe to get through that. I mean, is there another option? I don't know where these... I guess the turrets light up with an exclamation mark. If you're on a square where they would shoot you. So from here... Even though I'm next to the turret, so you might think, well, it can't shoot at something that's in melee range. That's not true. It actually would shoot at me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to accept the fact that it sucks that this thing isn't going to take much damage from my axe. But I'm not sure what I have that's better to do other than wacky moves like going up and scanning these scanners. So, it's something. I'm not going to whack it with this thing, I guess, because that doesn't even go through the armor. We'll take a cognition point there. And... I guess now I will do this to beef up the flamethrower. Then fill the gauge. Then pop my thingy. And I am going to be a little greedy for CP. I will not reveal stats with my servo skull. I will actually get the CP. And we're going to just end the turn. You. Well, I don't want to shoot here because that doesn't work out. I end up hitting my own character. Uh, is there any place I can shoot more than one character from? These scarabs, interestingly. I could shoot at them. And that would also hit the turret, I imagine. And the scanner. But... Let me just go here. Oh, what the? This is not blocking line of sight. I guess it doesn't block line of sight. Well, we'll just shoot at this thing for some extra damage. I'm just, I'm, I don't know about these Necron Heavy Destroyers. I'm just going to guess that they probably are tough cookies. And that my flamethrower, even a fully beefed up flamethrower shot, isn't going to take them down. And then we're going to kind of go over there and hide. Okay, so you need to get to that square that had the, this one. This is the square. The magical square. And now, let me do some experimenting. Alright, this is... Ah, oh, it's so close. So I cannot get this immortal and that cryptic. 
I can get the spiders and the immortal. I think the immortal is a bigger deal than the crypt deck. They just heal and they don't do that much damage. So I'm going to take that shot. Um, let's do some scanning. Can I get... Yes, there we go. This is good. I get the immortal stats, the crypt deck stats, and this big spider thing stats. We are going to turn on the canticle. So this is now 23-25, which actually kills the big spider. God, I have to really position my mouse ultra carefully. Hmm. It's tricky. I mean, I could servo skull this thing, because if this thing dies to it, then I don't really... Yeah, so this is physical damage, not energy damage, so I'm not wasting this pistol shot to do this. Ah, uh, okay. So this thing is going to die to my flamethrower. So I don't actually need to use the canticle itself. That is something I should save, I think. Okay. And there. No. Oh, my God. There we go. And I have to very carefully click to make sure that when I click, it doesn't <laughs> jostle my mouse. All right. So this immortal actually survived that. Hmm. Okay. We have a lot of CPs. I am going to use my servo skull on that thing because I want to know what's going on with it. Oh, it just it just had a butt ton of health. Weird. It didn't have that much physical. Yeah, had I used the canticle, this thing would be dead. Oh, I also forgot to use this thing. Oopsie. Okay, well, let's uh, buzzsaw, I guess, this heavy destroyer because we don't want to worry about that coming back. I am missing four five health so this is awkward it doesn't quite heal me but this is too much okay well i'll still heal with that i also forgot to use my weapon reduction ability this is just hilarious okay so we're gonna do armor here i mean all told i i am in pretty good shape the heavy destroyer is dead the big spider freak is dead I think we should probably just drop some servitors. Maybe I should have act. You know what I should have done is I should have moved um, my range character up so I could servitor bomb this immortal. That was a, an oversight. Now if I put a servitor here, I'm not sure it's actually going to get there. This one's going to do some healing. That's fine. I should have used the canticle. I mean, I still can. So this is seven energy armor. And that thing has actually quite a lot of health. Hmm. Okay, so I definitely want to shoot at the crypt deck with my pistol. That seems like a given. And this is the immortal over here. Yeah, we're going to want to servitor bomb that thing for sure. Okay. Would it be nice if I could just, like, get these turrets with my flamethrower. I really can't hit this turret from back here with the scanner. I can from here. Okay, so let's uh, scan. So I can destroy that one. And then let's take a look at where I'm at. So I can get... Oh, these turrets aren't going to die with just one canticle. Ah, oh, so I do have to watch out for them. And that thing... Has 30, these immortals have 33 health. Oh, Lord. No wonder it's such a problem. Okay. Um, can I hit that one, this one here, and the other one at the same time? Okay, I'm going to try to. I don't know. The angle might be wrong. No, so I can do both. Okay. It's really suboptimal because I should have used this last time. Then this immortal would be dead. And the way I'm doing it now, it's still not actually going to destroy the turret or the other immortal. However, it does kill this one before it gets to act, which is nice. Got a critical on that one, which is nice. We blew up a scanner, which is nice. We can buzzsaw this thing, which is nice. Nice is just the word of the day here. So here, can I go here and hide from the turrets? I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up all these CPs and then hide from the Immortals. 
Or I could even hide in the force field, actually, now that I think about it. Why not do that? Yeah, let's just hide in the force field. Um, oh my god, is this a spot where I'm going to get shot by the turret? Seems like it's not. Okay, I have enough movement to find out. So I go here. Oh, that, I would get shot by the turret there. But I think here I am safe. Okay, so we're going to pass. Oh, shooting the servitor. Interesting. Okay, well, my big beefy shield, which has like 10 base plus 2 from my special tree ability. Absorb that for my servitor. Now, is there any point in whacking this thing? It's such minimal damage. I need to hit this thing with energy weapons. But it's something. They're going to have machine spirit, so a little bit of damage is going to get through when the thing provokes an opportunity attack from them. And I actually get to hit it with Machine Spirit, which is great. Cause that, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, that actually sheds most of the armor, which is fantastic. I forgot that I had this upgraded one that sheds three armor, which is fantastic. So now we can push it away and not provoke any opportunity attacks and think. So what are we doing here with our lives? This turret's nearly dead. I could shoot the turret to death. That seems like I'm getting my priorities backwards, though. Maybe it makes more sense to try to shoot at that Cryptek. Where can I shoot it from? Weirdly difficult to get that Cryptek. But it can be gotten, so we'll go here. We'll shoot it. I mean, that's just for 4 to 6 damage is all that's for. And can I hit anybody with this? Sure, we'll just put on a bit of damage on that thing. Parp. And that's that. Ah, can you actually reach anybody? Even with your very large amount of movement and hefty range, you can't actually reach anybody except the person who is in range of all my other things and the scanner, which I haven't actually scanned yet. So that was a bit of a misplay on my part. I am unfortunately wasting the turn of my troop. Okay, so these opportunity attacks land for some serious damage. And I guess because of the taunting, it is going to shoot up my servitors. Could die here, and it did. He rolled high on the damage. I believe 7 is the most they can do. No target available. Great. And now, is it worth putting down a servitor next to this immortal? I mean, sure. Okay, so we're just doing some repairs. That's not a big deal. You. Should I go with you or delay? Hmm. I think shooting makes sense because... I mean, shooting now and not delaying makes sense just because this thing could maybe take out the immortal before it gets a chance to act. So I can do... As the machine spirits up, so my dominus tree is giving me bonus damage on it, so I want to hit the immortal here because it doesn't have physical armor six to eight hmm, in fact i might be able to just kind of get both of these immortals let's take a look here so this is perfect it finishes off the scanner sorry not the scanner the turret and that immortal and it damages the other one okay so we're just gonna very methodically buzzsaw everything today I do have to be careful. Oh, no, I don't. This is an escape mission. So that means I don't really have to worry about killing all the enemies before I blow up the scanner. Actually, blowing up the scanner is irrelevant. It's not, I'm not going to get the two awakening back down below one. And I'm not going to need two more turns to finish it. So I actually don't care about blowing this thing up. I just needed to scan it. And um, I'm just going to do this for a damage. It's a little bit frisky, but... I just don't think I need the CPs. There's so much CP here. I still have both of my CP canticles. And I'm actually just going to straight up go and hide behind my servitors. I don't want to get shot anymore. I'm missing a health. I'd like to get that back at some point. And... I mean, I, I can do this, but I want to do this basically on, like, the last turn of the mission. Okay, so servitor. We're just going to stay put and do that. I could have maybe delayed, but I wanted to get the armor up. Oh, man. This thing is... Oh, it's shooting this guy? Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, that was annoying. 
At least it's continuing to slowly burn to death. Okay, well, now I guess I might as well just charge with the Servitor. Leroy Jenkins on in there. Okay, so you can actually heal fully. That's perfect. And now... I mean, I just want to get up and whack these things. Right? So we're going to go here. And get a CP... Shoot. I can't shoot that guy. Okay. All right. Very well. I have to make sure I save a CP to run away from here so the turret doesn't shoot me. I don't think it's worth the effort at this point for the turret uh, to destroy the turret. One to two is not going to kill that thing. Okay. Well, let's um think. This is six. All right. So what I need to do is put one damage on this thing. The reason for that is I do three damage with my stick and this thing has one armor, so even if I did just one damage to it, I could kill it with my nightclub, which is what I'm going to call it now. Maybe I need to pick a different name for that because it doesn't... I mean, it looks like a club thing. And then this guy will just die to my opportunity attack. I don't even have to spend the CP to attack it. It'll just provoke an opportunity attack from me and die. So, let's harvest a CP from it. Hold on, I'm wrong. That's not actually true. Six. Yeah, it might actually... Okay, I will just kill it then. Because there's a chance I roll low and only do five out of the six. Okay, so now that I did some damage to it, now it's definitely going to die. This turret, however, will shoot at me. Oh, right, I totally forgot about the turrets. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're going to put on this thing. I'm hoping the turrets don't do, like, more than 12 damage. Because that would just be annoying. And this robot, which may have been a kind of a waste of black stone in this particular mission. But, well, it can shoot its shot. Oh, it, there's a corpse there. Oh, how nice that it gets rid of the corpse. That's just lovely. Okay, and I'll just pop back here. I don't think it. I don't think that the square I was on was a dangerous square for the turret, but better safe than sorry. So it's shooting my guy in his 12-point shield, and it's absorbed, which is great. So the next round we should win, and that should be the end of the mission, unless some more enemies pop out or something annoying. So you just need to go here. Squeezing on through, getting both of these CPs. Now we can shoot at this guy. Is there any point in shooting at this turret? I mean, I'll shoot at the turret. Why not? Better safe than sorry. Although I don't... I mean, the turrets go at the end of the round. I just don't want to end up in this weird situation. So had I been had I taken one more turn, I would have needed to blow up the scanner for the minus two to Necron Awakening level. But what, what am I doing here? What is happening? I'm trying to do a healing on myself. Okay, that was, I think, a graphical UI glitch. Okay, so we're here. Everybody's dead. I didn't need to do the one that cost CP because my other one had come off cooldown. Oops. So, don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Don't need that. You can just go here in the escape area. Kill all enemies. So, it was a fake one. But luckily, I had already killed all enemies because I'm a genius. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. If you want to stick around, of course, for the satisfying Blackstone tally. Feel free. So yeah, it costs like, what, 18 Blackstone to deploy it, and I get 15 back because he's at full health. So it's a very trivial amount of Blackstone. I don't know why they even bothered with that. I think all the troops should just cost zero Blackstone to deploy. But that's just me. Oh, the Zaragon sector. Ooh. Okay, I'll see you next time.